investigating the effect of surface area on the rate of a chemical reaction. We've got large and small marble chips and we're going to be looking at their reaction with 2 molar hydrochloric acid. So let's start by putting the apparatus on the balance. We've got two identical flasks, each with a cotton wool plug and we've got 25 centimetres cubed of hydrochloric acid into each flask. You now need to note down the mass, the total mass of the two systems, the large and small chips at time zero. The clock hasn't started yet. So what you'll need to do is to take mass readings with time as the reactions proceed. So let's start the clock and we'll introduce the small marble chips first at approximately 10 seconds in they go there's the reaction there's the plug over to the large chips starting at about 25 seconds in the chips into the plug and away we go so you need to record the decrease in mass with time for the two systems. So you can see that the rate of evolution of bubbles in the small chips has virtually stopped and we're getting a constant mass reading as this reaction is essentially completed, is finished. By contrast, the large marble chips, that's still a cloudy reaction mixture there. We've still got bubbles being produced and the mass is very slowly still decreasing.
So that's a total time of five minutes for the small marble chips. And similarly, five minutes total time so far for the large marble chips. And both reactions seem to have virtually come to a standstill. There is a very, very, very slow reaction going on in both cases. So hopefully you can take data for the two systems, uh, loss in mass with time for small and large marble chips with dilute hydrochloric acid.